Today is the first off day of the school year. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 14th, 2018. Today is the first off day of the school year. An off day is a day that the teachers don't really have to go into work, but is an optional day that we can take and it counts towards us taking off a teacher planning day sometime later in the school year. So for today, instead of working in my classroom, as I mentioned in my previous vlogs, I have to come to a math workshop. Now this is an important math workshop because I haven't taught math in two years and it's nice to get a refresher and I can't wait to get ideas and information to share back with my fourth grade team. So I just got to the school, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna vlog a little bit about the workshop and then after that, I'm going to dash over to school. I don't know how long it's gonna take me because I'm very far from school right now and I'm gonna continue working in my classroom today's purpose is organizing and putting things where they need to go and finding homes for the things that I'm not sure where they go all right so I'll see you later So we just got out for lunch from the workshop. It was amazing. The whole morning was about math discourse and how to help students talk about math and think about math. And I try to show you a couple of clips of what we were doing. And I'll try to show you more about it when I get to school because they gave us those cards that are great for getting the kids to talk about their math and helping them when they have math misconceptions. So it was amazing. And our presenter was awesome and energetic and that's exactly what I needed for the morning especially knowing that it is basically the first day of the school year for us all right so I'm gonna now head to lunch we need to be back in about an hour and 10 minutes there's a public supermarket right around the corner so I'm just gonna go there probably grab a salad or a sandwich or something and yeah then I'm gonna head back and go for session two of this afternoon and then after that let's see how long it takes me to get to school I'm gonna shoot an email to my principal to see how late the school building will be open today hopefully it will be open pretty late so that I can go ahead and continue setting up my classroom all right so I'll see you later I just came back from lunch and after that awesome lunch which was like so like home good cooking meal I just was feeling all my Puerto Rican culture vibe as I was eating that pork with the rice and pigeon peas so after that meal as you saw I had to get some coffee because yum yum meal but I need to stay awake so I got some Cuban coffee or una colada and it's so yummy because it's sweet and it is powerful but so good all right so Oh yeah, this is really good. All right, so let me just finish this off and I'm about to get headed to go in for the afternoon session of this math PD. I hear it's gonna be about the pacing guides and instructions, so let's see what I end up learning. So I'll see you afterwards.
right, so it's already 3.30 and I am out of the workshop and it was a really valuable workshop. I'm really glad that I came, like I mentioned earlier, and you saw a little bit more snippets of what we were going over in the afternoon. I do wanna say that those discourse cards that they gave us this morning, they are available through their website for free and you can download them. So I'll make sure to leave a link down below if you're interested in getting those cards along with some other posters that you can print out yourself as well. They also have those cards in Spanish, which I think it's very valuable if you have English language learners that speak Spanish. So anyway, I actually wanted to go to school, but I did get confirmation from my principal that the building will close today at 4.30. And I am so far away from school that I just mapped it and it will take me an hour to get to school. So it doesn't do me any good to just go straight to school since by the time I get there, it will be closed. So I'm just gonna go straight on home. I'm gonna work on some projects that I want to get ready for my classroom, some craft projects that I'll share with you more later maybe tomorrow when I get to the classroom. So what I have decided is I was gonna go to the science PD tomorrow for the new science textbook adoption, but one of the teachers in my team from last year, she got moved to fifth grade this year, she already went. So she's gonna just share with me the information that she learned from that PD. I don't think it's gonna be really, really important for me to go if it's something like them just going through the book. I think I can do that on my own. So. Plus, I'm very anxious to get my classroom ready. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go into work tomorrow. I do have a grade level chair meeting in the morning that I have to go with one of my assistant principals, but hopefully that won't be the whole day. And tomorrow the building will close at 7 p.m., so that's good to know. But also tomorrow, there is a painting fiesta activity that they're inviting teachers to go and gather and network by creating a painting for your classroom and really enjoying time together before we do the opening of school meeting on Thursday. So I'll be going to that and hopefully I can vlog a little bit about that experience as well. So change of plans, no science PD tomorrow. I'm going to go into my classroom to work and my goal tomorrow is to organize, organize, organize my classroom. I will leave the last bulletin board for last only because I don't think it is very important for me to finish it right now. It is in a corner. People are already going to see it unless they go to the sink to wash their hands. So I'm just going to leave that for last. If I cannot have it ready for the first day or first week of school, that's fine. I just want to organize my classroom and make sure that the environment is ready for my students so that we can have a great day next week, Monday. All right. So if you have any questions about anything that I showed during this vlog or any information that I learned, just ask them down below and I'll do my best to answer those. And also if I see that there's a lot of interest in a particular topic, I'll just make that into a separate video for anyone that's interested. I am very excited to be teaching math again this year. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go home now and I will end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my math PD day and that you found some value in the little bits that I shared. If you did like this video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile see you next time